the uh, all too common shadow in the set. <coughs> So I might be doing a strong turn three here with uh, spin drift Drake, Drake and the Condor. I'm not looking to play this well because I'm just toss lever is most likely seeing the sidelines. Tidal Warrior, Master of the Moon. That can be. I don't have uh, any copies of a big creature, but it could. It makes a big creature, basically. I'm going to take that because it's a fun card. Uh, this venerable monk will be joining us. Change of heart. Or dream prowler. And I'm going to take. See here, which is the best change of heart is quite good. Yeah, look at that. Uh, bandage or conviction. As I said before, bandage is really good because of its return force, and I'm not too thrilled by playing more than one um, bandage. This humility kind of forced me into playing white. I'm not sure if that's a good choice. But, yeah. We'll see what that leads us. City of Traitors. If I'm not mistaken, I just hit jackpot. Yeah. This is, uh, I think it was the most uh, valuable card in the set, in all three sets. So, yeah. City of Traitors, here we go. Uh, Wayward Spirit is a solid card. 3 2 flying, with the, which is almost. Uh, it, it, it's hard to die for it. It's hard for it to die. Sorry, my uh, wacky choice of words. Not playing that, not playing that, although that is as, uh, almost as hard to die. Where was spirit? Of course, he was better before when damage stacked, but I'm picking up these with two fires. There's not much that I'd take over than him. Fade away can be good. If that was an instant, I might play it, but as is, I'm not. <coughs> The best decision to have a creature control by the source of the choice is dealt to another target creature instead. So this is a good combat trick. You redirect the damage of one source to one another target creature. So you, in the type of types of blockers, it makes basically makes it impossible for them to do it right. Um, here there's a couple of greens which can be good but I'm going to take this away because I still don't have any way of dealing with enchantments. Um, yeah, nothing else that I'd be willing to take. And now that I got this 
Wait, wait, what zones? I might just cut. I don't think that I will be playing humility, and I'm most likely not going to be playing these other cards, uh, other green cards as well. Um, what have we here? Um, mage in back. Or Welkin Hawk. I'm going to take the Hawk, I think. Uh, uh, this just shoots, it shoots too many of our creatures. To leave it alone. Um, and the other blessing is okay. I'm going to take it. It's too expensive of an upkeep. Whereas you can play stuff w while keeping this guy alive. It's uh, a bit harder to keep this guy alive and play stuff. Especially since it doesn't have any evasion. But yeah, I'm picking up the... Uh, I picked up the pump. Turn to play creature from your graveyard to your hand. You have to have two creatures, otherwise you can't do it. Um, this is an annoying card. Dizzying gaze is good against fires. So I'm going to pick up the sparking hawk and hopefully we'll get some more on those. Here is a card that we are not <laughs> we want. To see, wanted to see uh, a one for even that little vigilance, I think, which makes it makes it yeah, it, it's a big guy which you can attack with always. Um, not playing green anymore. Um, I'm just gonna cut this this in gaze. I don't want to face them. It's not a good card in itself, but when you have as many fires as we do, uh, I think it's correct to have them. Glowstone Flood. Destroy Solid Land. No, it's a rare. I'm not going to worry about the other cards. Shield mate. Yeah. Not playing any of the others. Again, not playing the others. Cut the dreams. Yeah. It's either that or the keeper of the beasts. But the cut of dreams it will be. So let's see, cost source. The other Welkin Hawk did not return to us. I still might play the one I brought. <laughs> the school came back to us. Um, not going to play it. It's, it doesn't have evasion, so it's out of the question. Change of heart. I think that this deck will be too aggressive to bother with that card. Um, although the clergy will see play as well. These guys. Um, whenever you play a spell you gain one life. That might actually be a decent card since I've got capsize, but I'm not going to add to my main deck. Um, I'm not playing Master of the Mimic. I am playing these two guys, and I will be playing that. Uh, my three slivers, not playing that. I will play that guy though. 
so that's 23 cards. The giant crab doesn't do a whole lot at all. So he will be on the sidelines. Uh, 14 creatures should be enough. I've got a trick here and I've got some spells. A lay might not be the best card to have main deck. But I'm trying to consider this see anything that would be better and I think that the Fact of Dreams would be the best in that case just to have another draw spell. Yeah, disappear somewhere. Oh, end up here. Um yeah. So there is quite a few spells of the theme on this but not too many creatures. Although one of those spells in cap size will most likely be played up here. So I've got trick, pump, two tricks, bomb spell, and sorcery speed, pump. Yeah, I think this is okay. The worst card in the deck is probably the Welcome Hall, since we only got one. I really did think that uh, it would get past. Uh, I don't remember now if this was the first one or the second one, but I did think that we would get one back as well. Uh, yeah. Let's see what it suggests. Hey, yeah, we don't need. We'd like white on turn 2 and I think that's we'll have a good enough chance with 8-9 so yeah here's this is the deck and see you from